It was it was pretty funny. Like I just everybody thought I won, and watching it with that many people was hilarious to me. And then, you know, everybody's like when they called off Johnny and Dave, and they're like, "You're not one." Everybody's like, "Oh man, Trevor's gone for sure." It's done. You know, and then, and then and then I did, and I thought it was like, and like a room full of people in my restaurant, and it's like like wah wah. So it was it was pretty it was pretty amusing. But anyway. Um, I'm living a dream right now, for sure. Like this is what I wanted to do my whole life. It's why I started cooking. It's it's what I've aspired to be and do. And uh, Top Chef definitely gave me the upper hand to get there. Um, moving to Vancouver was was a really hard road as a cook. It's it's really difficult to make it here in the job market. I mean. Everybody, as you know, everybody from Vancouver is never from Vancouver. <laughs> they all, they all just show up here and they're like, "This is sweet of staying." Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Me too. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna visit a friend there, and I'm still here, and I'm here. So it's, it's ridiculous. Um, so it was also ex insanely frustrating because I see it in a lot of my cook friends and a lot of people in general that are here with so much potential to be awesome cooks or awesome at your job and whatever you do, but so many people have lived here for so long and they just get, the population is getting bigger and bigger that the job market, like, it's, it's hard to make it out here. It's cutthroat. Like, I, I don't even know how to make it, you know? I mean, shit. It was <laughs> really fucking hard. I, was, I, was, I had this, like, d dead end job that, that I was, like, just cooking other people's food constantly and I hated it and I knew I was better than that. So, I just think it was very, it was a very interesting uh, notion to me that, that Vancouver, um, I don't know where I'm going with this right now, that it's just, if you have a dream or if you think you can do better, just, you don't need to be in Vancouver for it. I mean, there's so much opportunity out there that you can really get out there and just really follow what you want. Um, getting on Top Shot, that was, that was a very interesting process. Uh, there was no, I never sent in an actual audition video. So any video that you guys ever watched was produced by them. It was during my interview to get on the show. Um, I, I just called them one day and I was like, I don't have any time to make a video. I'm insanely busy right now. And they were like, oh no, that's cool. Just show up for this interview and, and you know, get on. And I was like, okay. So I showed up for the interview and I cooked some food and that's, that's my audition video. If you guys paid that much attention, I don't know. But uh, that, <laughs> Thank you, best friend <laughs> Ryan. He saw that. Um, so that, that, that's, that's how I got on the show. Um, they made the video for me, and and I guess I cooked a pretty good meal. And it was when they called me back and said you got on Top Chef, I was like, my heart sunk into my stomach immediately, and I was like, I was like, oh, cool. And they're like, you don't even sound excited. Like, shouldn't you be like super happy about this? And I was like, ah, you know, this is this is a journey, man. It's going to be fucking hard. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, I, going off that, I'm super happy that I was actually working at the Shangri-La and I was a chef to party. I'm very happy for this opportunity because I was trying to reach out and get these higher profile jobs and try to move up in the world, you know? And I got rejected a lot. And I was like, what is wrong with me? Like, my, that, That's why at the beginning of the show, they, they say, I'm this dark horse. Weird. But like, like yeah, my, my ego was a little crushed at that point. <laughs> I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to really get these like jobs. Like, I applied for a sous chef at Hawksworth. They're like, no, I'm like, awesome. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I called uh, Abigail's party for a head chef position. He's like, no. And I met James a couple days ago. And he's like, oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> so, you know, like I'm, I'm very thankful that I did stay in that position at, at a lower at a lower scale because it did give me the opportunity to do this. And I've had some amazing people surrounding me throughout this whole thing that have really helped me on my way because my chef Wayne Harris at the Shangri-La was like, "Hey, you need those six weeks off to do this." He's like, "I'm behind you," and I I, I, I love him for it, you know, because if I did get that job at Hawksworth or I did get that head chef position somewhere else, like. I never would have had the opportunity to do this. So it's weird, but like the, the stars and the moons align for you, you know, they really do. And it's just really interesting how life works out like that.